to the containers and, and plates and utensils. Usually, this is known in the chapter in the books of fiqh as a chapter dealing with al aniyah the containers, the, the uh, utensils. Why do we put emphasis on this? Why not mention it when we talk about the etiquettes of eating and drinking? Scholars say, because water usually is carried in containers. So we have to know whether the water being in such a container is pure or not, and whether the container is halal to be used or not. So if you look at this uh, chapter, uh, you will find that all plates, utensils, vessels, everything is permissible for us to use. Because Allah Azza wa Jal says in Surah Al-Baqarah verse 29, it is He who created for you all that is on earth. So by default, everything on earth is halal for us to use unless otherwise stated. So if someone says, what's the ruling on making a vessel or a container of wood? No problem. Of plastics? No problem. So anything you want to, it is permissible for you to use as utensils to eat and to drink in, with the exception of gold and silver so if you want to have a crystal plate or a glass to drink water in no problem platinum is a bit extravagant but no problem gold and silver haram why because the hadiths and you can read the hadiths here indicates that this is totally prohibited by the prophet and that Whoever does this would drink and eat in hellfire, fire with it. So this is something that is a serious thing, not to be taken lightly. I travel a lot and I stay in five-star hotels usually. I'm not paying, people are paying, so alhamdulillah. And when you eat in restaurants, they serve you in silver and sometimes gold utensils you can see the stamp on it and this is why they serve you with it in the restaurants not in your room service because people would take it and put it in their bags and kiss the baby good night so what's the ruling on eating with it it's haram in some hotels you ask for green tea and they bring you the uh, the jug or whatever they call it, uh, um, the, the teapot, and it's silver. You can tell by the color. And you ask, is this silver? I said, yes, sir. I said, no, nope, change it. It's haram for you to consume in it. And the hadiths are crystal clear. There is no uh, acceptable difference of opinion among scholars on this because we rely on the hadith. A lot of the Muslims say, what is the reason? Akhi, you're not entitled to ask for the reason. The Prophet said it's haram. End of story. I can give you five or six justifications, but would that mean that this is why Allah made it haram? No. Unless we have evidence that it was haram because of this, we cannot simply say, yes, surely it's haram because of one, two, three out of my own reasoning and logic. So, the Prophet prohibited it, والسلام, we abide by it. Now, one would say, okay, is this just for eating and drinking or we can use it for